hey guys and welcome back to the channel so today i am going to be doing a crochet wig um i'm going to be showing you guys my process and how i do my crochet wigs from start to finish as well as how i'm going to be styling this particular wig this particular wig is more of a what i like to call a task wig <laughs> Something that I throw on for quick tasks because if I need to run out of the house really quick or if I just need to run to the store, you know, anything where it's just something that needs to be quick. I don't have to comb it or put any product in it or do anything to it other than put it on my head and go. So I'm going to be showing, showing you guys exactly how I do that and hopefully if you enjoy, you'll like, comment, and subscribe. Also if you have any questions or you need to know anything about this particular rig or anything that i did to it just make sure you comment down below and i will be sure to answer you guys' questions thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video let's get into it all right you guys so to start off i need to have everything prepared i take my little wig head my little styrofoam wig head and i tape it to a piece of core board <laughs> I don't know how other people do this, but um, this is the only way I know how to keep it secured so that it's not moving all the way around. So um, I just tape it to this little piece of cardboard and then I tape the cardboard to my TV table that I have. So it just makes it easier to keep it in place and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. So today I'm going to be using the standard mesh wig cap. It does have an open top which really doesn't make a difference in this particular wig or this style or anything. I'm also going to be using the Bobbi Boss Jumbo Braid here with the feather tip in a number 4. And I'm also going to be using a standard crochet needle. You guys, I am going to be doing voiceover throughout the entire video just to give you guys a little bit of extra information about what I'm doing and how I'm doing everything. But let's go ahead and get started on this and I will be back with you guys. adjusting and moving the angle around a few times just so you guys can see everything you know that you need to see close up or further away or whatever it is also I'm really sorry about the lighting in the video I keep changing it because it looks way too bright to me so I'm just trying to make it the best I can hopefully it's not too bad So for those of you who have never made a wig or never seen one of these wigs made before, it is really simple. All you have to do is just take the hair and um, you take the little needle, stick it through the net, put the hair on the needle and then pull it back through. And then you just need to loop it one or two times um, depending on how coarse or how silky the hair is. If the hair is more silky, then you're probably gonna have to um, loop it more than once but or maybe even more than two times sometimes but with this hair it's you know a little bit more coarse and it's not as silky so you can get away with looping it once I wouldn't recommend that I like to loop it at least twice but either way I don't think the hair is going anywhere and again the way I'm gonna style this hair you're really not gonna have to worry about having to keep the hair in place because it's going to be in place. <laughs> there will be several points in the video where I will slow it down and show you guys in a more detailed way how I 
put the crochet needle in and how I loop the hair as well. So just keep that in mind. I will definitely go over that. down a little bit but I forgot <laughs> um, basically I just take the hair and loop it through that little top part so that when I tie the knots that closes the top and um, you know it allows for it to be completely sealed so that's really all that was with that And this is one of the parts that I'm slowing it down for you so you can see a little bit better how I use the crochet needle and also how I loop and secure the hair. Side note to beginners or first timers doing this type of wig, I would definitely suggest using a thicker neck cap. This is the only one they had available at my local beauty supply, so I went ahead and went with it because I'm used to these kind. But if you're new to this, I would suggest using a neck cap that is a bit thicker and so that you don't have to be so delicate with it like I'm having to be right now. And you can just go ahead and put the hair on there and squeeze it as tight as you need to just so that you're securing the hair well but yeah this thinner um, neck cap can be an issue if you aren't doing it exactly correctly it can get snagged with the crochet needle the hair can pop the little net so just a note if you guys are thinking about doing this maybe look into finding a thicker neck cap I'm losing my mind Try to go to work But I lost track of time Cause everyone keep looking like you I can't take no more I miss your touch From your hands and your body It hurts so much To think of you as someone else Can't get enough When you're sweet talking to me Now I'm talking sweet all by myself Put your arms around me Put your faith in me Put your love on me What you need from me Need your love on me Put your love on me I'ma do everything for you I don't want anyone but you Put your arms around me Put your faith in me Put your love on me Can we stop the clock and rewind Go back to that moment in time When you say you want me for life Was it all a lie? okay so usually if i was going to be making a wig that needed to be more detailed especially around the perimeter of the wig i would be staggering these particular hair pieces so um, I put them around the band of the wig, around the perimeter, and then I would go back through and kind of stagger it 
so I put them in these little areas here so that there aren't any spaces but I would also be really watching out for my spacing because when you do it this way it may end up bunching so you want to make sure that you really space it correctly and stagger the hair correctly otherwise it's just going to bunch up so that is something to look out for but again with this particular wig i'm not really needing to worry about that if you guys want to see a video where i am really focused on the small details such as like keeping the pieces spaced properly and things like that just let me know and i will work on another wig but like I said, this one is just really not that involved. So, yeah. Okay, you guys so I went ahead and ended that night but this is the next day and I had decided that the wig was a little bit too thin for me I did want to go ahead and put the other pack in so I'm gonna go ahead and work on that today after that's done which should only take me a little well in real time it should only take me about like 30 minutes to finish this up so <laughs> Um, once I'm done with that, I will start the styling process and show you guys the final look. And take a break or a little vacation and chase and blues away. Hey, hey. You always posting a pictures, trying to look like you winning, or look like you always be working, soaking the moments you live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me. Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't add me Cause baby, I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus mm -hmm. I'm on hiatus uh -oh. Baby, don't check for me Pure and 
free So here you guys, I'm just putting on the wig so I can see if it's thick enough. I mean, it really doesn't matter at this point. I used all the hair, so if it's not thick enough, psh, that's really just what it's gonna have to be. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm just separating it so that I can get ready to style it. Um, I'm gonna be putting two big braids on the side here. And after that, I'm gonna go ahead and dip it. I am going to show you a little bit of how I dipped it, but my camera did mess up a little bit, so it didn't get the initial footage of me dipping it, but it's a standard thing. Boil it, boil some hot water, put the hair in the hot water, dry the hair off, so really not much to it. <laughs> for this wig um now this is just something that I wanted to do because I don't want to have to put a wig on and comb the hair out or put product in it or run my fingers through it or anything <laughs> I just want to put it on and go you know I just want to lay my edges down throw the wig on and go and if there's a situation where I can't lay my edges down or I'm trying to do something quick, like run to the mailbox, I don't feel like laying my edges down. I'm very vain, you guys. So, like, my hair needs to be somewhat done <laughs> going anywhere outside of the house. So, um, you know, whatever. But, you know, you can put a scarf on as well. Throw your little ponytails in. Throw a scarf on. You know, you don't have to worry about doing your edges. You can pull your little beanie down some you feel me bust out one of those i don't particularly like this but you know you can do that <laughs> uh i gotta watch out for my edges watch out for my edges my edges my edges so yeah that's basically it so i'm about to actually get on the go anyways so this is gonna be perfect for today i have some errands to run some things to do today and this is perfect for that throw my big earrings in you know make my look feel like it's more of a look <laughs> uh since my hair style is so plain you know well i wear big earrings anyway so it don't even matter okay what kind of style i got i got my big earrings in you know and i like it because it really doesn't like it doesn't fight with my earrings like i always have on big hoops and you know it's not like attaching around them and doing this and that as long as i can avoid this this <laughs> then it's perfect um you know while i'm out i don't have to be moving this around and doing this and that you know i could get my groceries and move fast and all that kind of stuff and it's just out of the way like that's really just what i wanted and it's real you know light and airy with regular wigs if you try to you know braid them they kind of like especially the synthetic wigs they kind of start doing weird stuff you know you know me. so you guys yes this is the final look hope you guys like it again you do not have to do this hairstyle if you decide to do that you know the same crochet wig um you know that wig is for beginners 
So, I mean, the, well, the way I did that wig is for beginners. So it's not very detailed as far as like the crocheting of it. And then, you know, so you gotta be really mindful of covering up the spots and everything. Or I mean, if you wanna do like the headband method and put the wig on and put the headband on, or if you want to put some leave out out right here, you know, just make sure that the spots are really full and covered and make sure you have a big enough cap that it's not too, you know, it's not bunching up too much that when you put it on your head, it's smaller than it was when, you know, the thing started. So just be mindful of all those things. If you have any questions, comments, anything like that, go ahead and drop them below and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, you guys. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye.